I'm uh, kind of hesitant to do this, but I'm going to admit it. Sometimes I wear reps. This is uh, one of the mochas. I'm pretty sure you saw the mocha um, 2.0 Travis Scott joints that have been floating around. I think it's a dope shoe, man. I would, I would never buy a mocha shoe. I don't think the mocha shoes are good looking at all. <laughs> Straight up. It's an obvious rep, though. Obvious rep. But it's just so clean, though, man. Mm. Yeah. I put my personal touch on it. I put my, my, my baby's name on that. It's kind of cute, right? Some of your favorite YouTubers used to have reps, too, as their early releases. Reps have been in the game forever. Bape, of course, is one of the most well-known replicas of all time. Now, as far as um, one replicas go, I never got into the Amari craze from a few years ago. Did you get in? Did you get into it? Because I didn't. I, I I thought they were they were okay, but the actual Jordans I felt was better. Although the stitching on the Amaris was much better. But I just I just couldn't get over that vibe, man. It's like, why would I pay three four hundred dollars for an Amari? But I could just pay $150 on StockX or GOAT or Stadium Goods or what? Is Kickify? Yeah, Kickify. Is Kickify still a thing? I haven't been on Kickify in a while. Speaking of that, the last time I was on Kickify, I bought a pair of Jordan 12 UNCs. I reported the guy that sold them to me because I thought they were fake. The stitching was off on one shoe, but the other shoe was immaculate. Stitching was off. Uh, some of the artifacts on the other shoe was was just kind of wonky. Um, the dates were the same. This is just the shoes look so different, and my expectations of what a Jordan was supposed to be was so high that I thought they were fakes. And to this day, man, I wish I could apologize to that guy because he he really sold me a an authentic pair when I look back at it now. I don't, he doesn't have he doesn't have his uh, sneaker sneaker store anymore, and the Facebook under his name, it looks like some um, some DJ or some shit like that. But yeah, um, I feel really bad about giving him a nasty review, and I reported him to Nike as well. Nike didn't do shit, but I, I feel guilty about that. That's how much. That's how much replicas have infiltrated, infiltrated the market. That's also another reason why I regret buying those Travis Scott um, fragments and those off-whites. Every time I wear them, people ask me, are they real? Are they fake? Are they replicas? Somebody's always looking at your feet and checking because the average person really can't afford them. Unless you make at least $100,000 a year I know that's an arbitrary number, but that's what we go on with. That's what most people go with. Unless you make a certain amount of money, you should not be wearing Travis Scott's, um, any of the off-white shoes. In fact, you shouldn't be wearing shoes over $200, period. You know, guess what, though? I can afford that shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Enough flexing, enough flexing. Let me know what you think about wearing, wearing, um, wearing reps. Reps are not fakes. Yeah, before I go, reps are not fakes. These are cut from the exact same um, stencil as a, as a pair of Jordan 1s are. They're made in the exact same factory in most cases. And it uses the exact same leather as a Jordan 1. This is a Jordan 1 by all accounts. It even has that, that nice Jordan 1 shape in the back. Like, if it wasn't a Mocha 2.0, which is a shoe that does not exist, you'd be hard-pressed to, to find a reason to call this shoe a fake. And that's my problem. And that's why I also say, stop buying off-whites. Stop buying the Travis Scott's. 
If you a regular person making an, uh, a meager wage, don't spend your money on sneakers, man. Sneakers are a bad investment. After about 15, 20 years, they're going to start degrading. And then you'll still be out of that $1,500 to $5,000. Put your money into the company if you're going to do that. If you're going to buy a depreciating asset like this and you really can't afford it, buy Nike stock. Now is a good time since the, since the market is still crashed. Buy you some Nike stock. For every shoe you buy, put that 250 or so dollars, put the change into stock, man, because Nike stock and all these other uh, appreciating assets, they beat inflation. It's cool to be a sneakerhead, but be smart about it. Don't be ashamed to wear, don't be ashamed to wear reps. If they're good quality, don't buy fakes. Fakes are different. Fakes are imitation. They're not replicas. Yeah, I'm going to clown you a little bit if I see you in fakes. It's just what it is, you know. We do that shit. Don't take it personally. Um, this shoe cost me $130 from a reputable replica maker. You know him or her. Who, if, I don't know. I don't know the uh, sex of the person. But I know they put out some fire replicas look at this man like even the feel of it the leather man look just get get reps man if you can't afford travis scott's don't it ain't no shame in wearing reps because if you buy the authentic ones people are going to assume that they're reps anyway so just go with the flow let me know what you think don't forget like if you like if you don't i don't give a fuck but whether you like it or not please subscribe Please comment, especially if you don't like or especially if you like the material that I'm putting out now. And also hit that notification bell so that way you'll know when I put out new videos. I'm going to start putting out videos more frequently in case you didn't know. Uh, Yeah, tell me what you think. Peace.